Every year, whatever the liturgical cycle is, uh, the Sunday after Epiphany, we always remember Jesus' baptism. The season after Epiphany is really given over to readings about Jesus' earthly ministry, his teachings, his healings. And so, of course, it's natural to start off with his baptism. And this Sunday, we will not only be reading the story of uh, his baptism in the Jordan by his cousin, John, but we will also be having a baptism, and that's also a very traditional thing for us to do on this Sunday in the, in the beginning part of the year. So a lot of our prayers and certainly the hymns and the music will be focusing on baptism and not only Jesus' baptism, but also reminding us of our baptism. One thing of particular interest, uh, we have this season in the choir, we've been kind of resurrecting a lot of pieces that have been in the uh, library, but maybe haven't been sung for decades, some of them. At the communion, we'll be singing a piece that um, was done at some point in the, in the distant memories of St. John's, and it's a piece by Peter Halleck, and it's a medieval text about Jesus's baptism. And Peter Halleck was the organist and choir master at St. Mark's Episcopal Cathedral in Seattle, Washington. And he, while he was there, during his tenure there, he created, uh, sort of single-handedly, the American revival of Compton. And it was uh, hugely successful all through the 80s, the 70s and the 80s, when Peter Halleck was there. And a lot of the music that he wrote tapped into the sort of ephemeral, very meditative, contemplative kinds of music that you would have for a Compton service. So this piece is very strange and a little bit quirky, but it's also very effective. Um, the choir has a repeated refrain, and then a soloist kind of tells the story in a narr narrative um, that is completely unaccompanied by any instrument or by the choir. It's just a single line, and then the choir uh, punctuates that with a refrain. So I hope that you'll pay a special attention to that piece of baptismal um, literature that the choir has sung. Also, during the season, um, from this Sunday all the way up to the last Sunday after Epiphany in about six weeks, we're going to introduce a new piece of service music. So those of you that are here at St. John's regularly, you will recognize that during the different seasons of the year, we will sing a different sanctus, the, the music that accompanies the text, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might. Um, we are uh, going to introduce a new one that is composed by uh, the New York-based uh, composer Calvin Hampton. He was at Calvary Church, an Episcopal church, right off of Gramercy Square, and wrote this really lovely setting of those words, holy, holy, holy Lord. And it has sort of a flowing and a gentle quality that really kind of fits the season, we think. So we hope that over the next several weeks, you will become familiar with this new setting of the Sanctus. <laughs> reference, we will have lots of prayers and hymns and choral music that all centers around baptism and around our baptismal covenant, as we also welcome the newest member of St. John's in our baptism service. We hope that you will join us this weekend for our services here at St. John's Cathedral. 